briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1988, the Delaware Court of Chancery heard the case of Blasius Industries Inc. v. Atlas Corp., which focused on the duty of board members to act in the best interest of shareholders and the importance of allowing shareholders to have a voice in electing new directors for fair corporate governance. The case arose when Blasius Industries proposed a cash distribution to Atlas Corp. shareholders. However, Atlas representatives hesitated, and Blasius later delivered a consent statement followed by a signed written consent from CD and Company. The board then adopted a resolution to amend the bylaws and elect new directors. In response, Atlas added two new directors to prevent Blasius from gaining a majority on the board. The Delaware Court of Chancery consolidated and tried two related cases together, ultimately concluding that the board's action taken on December 31, 1987, was invalid. The court determined that the primary purpose of the action was to impede an unaffiliated majority of shareholders from expanding the board and electing a new majority, which breached the corporation's duty to its shareholders. The court voided the defendant's actions of preventing a shareholder vote on the Blasius proposal and barring unaffiliated shareholders from electing new directors. Emphasizing the importance of shareholder franchise, the court required those responsible for conducting corporate elections to abide by high standards of fairness and impartiality, and found that the defendants failed to provide sufficient justification for their actions. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.